Now we have uh, one of the uh, new planets to the system. Uh, this was uh, spotted at 1.30 this morning. At, uh, it's the 15th. Uh, so it's in uh, Queensland and uh, on the East Coast. So we're going to play it for you. We also sent another one earlier in the night, uh, which was um, on the other side. Now, what was this one, Joel? This is um, northeast. So, uh, northeast. So the other one would have been southeast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the other one was sort of north, and then one maybe direct south. I reckon. Okay. This is taken with a, a Canon camera. Um, see if we can get in a bit closer on it. And through an eyepiece of a telescope. It jumps around it because it's being held by hand, so um, we'll try and keep it in, in the screen. Let's go forward a little bit. There it is. So it's, um, according to Joel, I haven't seen it right through yet. Uh, he said it's more interesting towards the end. Well, that takes some beating right now to be interesting. Goodness me. Donnie Gilson. He'll be uh, crying his eyes out over this. This looks like an alien spaceship to me. The Galactic Federation's come to see me. <laughs> <laughs> right. But look at those beautiful colours. I'll just freeze frame it there for a moment. Get in the middle. There you go. Now that is not a normal object in the sky. showing greens and reds and pinks and blues and whites. I'd like to see an astronomer explain that. It's like the seven colours of the spectrum. Seven colours of the spectrum. We've got seven uh, planetoids coming back to us with the Gabriel return, which we know as Nibiru, of course. See if I can zoom that a bit. Bognast. That's uh, pretty spectacular stuff. And uh, feel free to upload it. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, when we upload this, we'll um, make it so that it's available for a download. Just look at the uh, bottom of the picture when you uh, watch this and it'll have it available for upload. Download, rather. No, I'm going to try and keep after it. It's being uh, held by hand. It's uh, quite a good job to keep it in that small range of movement. And the wind. I've got the wind. And he's got a, the wind was going last night too, so it didn't help. No. I'll just freeze it there because it's getting larger. Did you zoom that, Joel? Or? Yeah, I'm... Zooming on the, with the camera there as, as much as I can. And perfectly clear sky? Sure was. Uh -huh. That has got to be the most spectacular thing I've seen. And we're going to have more of it. That's why we've got three telescopes. One we've converted to a bong. That's not the point. What do we call it? Nehemiah 2 or something? Victory 1. Victory 1. Right, I'll just freeze frame that. Now look at that there. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful on your life? It's right outside our back door. Well, everyone's sleeping. Everyone's sleeping. This is going on.
Absolutely beautiful. I think keep after it. Looks like it's spinning really fast. Oh, it's certainly spinning fast, yeah. But see, these seven uh, planets that came back uh, after this 3,600 year cycle, uh, that's antimatter, of course. Uh, we've lost it there for a minute. Hold on. Yeah, that'll be a new shot. There it is. That's a new shot. So I'll just uh, freeze in on that. Keep it in frame here. Oh, should we not feel anything? Nah, just have one before this one. Thought you was having a bong. Oh, I can have a bong and a coffee without at the same time. Unless you do it through the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's an idea, isn't it? Well, that could be a new cafe. <laughs> yeah, coffee, coffee bong. So, would you say the Dutch have it right in Amsterdam where you can have a coffee and get stoned at the same time? No, nah, not really. I don't think you need to have coffee. <laughs> Nice work. I must oh, admit, there's a coffee shop in my Yeah. Because yeah, the first time I entered that, we didn't have any coffee shops in London. They started spending Starbucks. That's something else. Really started that, yeah, Yeah. Bring it back a bit. There it is again. Got to zoom back yeah, in again. I 14 years in North America where it didn't matter how far you drove, you could drive through coffee no matter where you went. Well, they were growing it. No, no, well, you just had to drive through coffee places. Oh, drive through it. Drive okay. through it, yeah. Well, it's uh, quite a dangerous thing, that coffee. They get you all hooked on coffee and then they're putting all this crap with it. Mm. Population control. Mm. You have to get your tripod out there tonight, eh? Yeah, well, it's just, it's moving so fast through the eyepiece that you just don't have time to line it all up. You just got to try and Oh, yeah, that's lucky. right. I mean, unless, yeah, we, we can get the uh, tracker thing happening and make it easier. Can you stand up the Um. No, I say, gosh, and bother, yes. <laughs> Well, very shortly we'll have to invest in one of those uh, super um, telescopes, three or four grand, with the tracker in it. Because we're going to have lots of things to be looking at. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's quite steady, considering it's done by hand. And the wind blowing. Off screen, here it comes back again. I'll get up and picture all uh, in frame, I'll freeze it. Now yeah, that's interesting. Well, we haven't heard from Donnie Gilson. Looks like his uh, woman there has uh, taken over the show, threatening him. And, uh, she made him swear that we'd never be allowed back on his show. Um, no, 
Vicky's supposed to have us on the show too, because she won't come, come back either. But a good man uh, always lines himself up with a demon. That's uh, how it happens. And she's full of demons. So. So if Donnie wants to upload this, he can, as long as he leaves the sound on. So we've had two of those last night, one in the uh, evening about, what was it, about 10 o'clock last night? This one? No, uh, that was probably 1.30 a.m. Oh, uh, the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was, it was after you guys come back from dinner, so yeah, about 9 o'clock. So it's, it's virtually similar to that, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, the third one as well, that was the south looking. The third one? Going blue, green, red, pink, orange, yellow. Got the whole spectrum of colours then. So um, the seven. Um, Planets that have uh, come back after the 3600 year cycle. Uh, they're all antimatter. And of course, um, the light from the sun is uh, from a matter source. So, this is what it's all about. Okay. 